I've been experimenting with a crystal oscillator. And this is the circuit that I'm using, although it does not match the quartz crystal that I have. I thought I'd try it anyway, and to my surprise, it still worked. Not optimum, of course. Uh, the output's rather low, but it still worked, which is really great news, because if you have ever worked with any type of oscillator or designing an oscillator, you know that it can be a real pain to get them to work at all. Well, this particular circuit looks very much like this circuit. It is a coal pits oscillator. And what that quartz crystal does, it takes the place of this in the coal pits oscillator, the tank circuit. And I, again, was really surprised that this worked. The crystal oscillator is designed, or the circuit's designed from one to five meg, and I'm using something very close to a 10 meg crystal, but it still works. This is what it looks like. It's not very pretty yet, but it's very encouraging that it works at all, first time. This is the build that I'm using that the scope is hooked up to. And here is the quartz crystal all the way to the left. And a little bit to the right of that is the RF choke. And then to the right of that is a general purpose transistor, the 2N2222. The quartz crystal is the mechanical residence of the piezoelectric material in this circuit. This produces an electrical signal with a constant frequency. Quartz crystals can be manufactured to produce frequencies from a few tens of kilohertz to hundreds of megahertz. So what that means is the quartz crystal in this circuit actually physically vibrates and when it does that it produces a very stable frequency. And of course they're made for specific frequencies. So if you want an oscillator that does not change, a crystal oscillator is a very good choice. Now I'm not happy with this results yet, but what I am happy with is even though I'm using the wrong crystal in the circuit, it still works. That is very reassuring. And if you have tried to make oscillators before, particularly with a tank circuit, you know you may not get anything. It's, it can be very frustrating. And if it does oscillate, it might be on the wrong frequency. Well, that cannot be true with a crystal oscillator. Thanks for watching.